Hey guys, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. It's using some brand new product that's gonna be available on January 3rd. So the Hey Love stamp set is the first item that's brand new. And then we're using this cute crew punch that's in the punch box set. And we're also using the rectangle stitched framelits. We are so excited to get these in. We've been asking for rectangles for years. So I think these are going to sell out. I think they're going to be a really hot item. So we're going to make this box today using this framelit. And so you can see the little stitched edge. You could just cut out cardstock and make it with just regular cardstock, but I really like the detail of the stitch line. And the top right here is also cut out using the um, this framelit. And then the little banner here is also cut out with the small one. So we're using three from that rectangle set. Okay, let me get the big shot and we'll go ahead and cut all of our pieces out. Okay, I didn't go over the supplies. So we've got crumb cake cardstock that measures five and three quarters by eight and a half. That will give us two of these. Then I've got a piece of all my love designer series paper this is just a two inch strip so we're just going to cut this piece out of that strip we've got whisper white for the little bird and then we've got scraps of lovely lipstick for the banner there so i'm going to slide this over and put the big shot in the screen okay we've got the magnetic platform and the cutting pad Let's start with the crumb cake. You can get both of these out of one sheet, so you want to make sure that you can get it um, up there pretty close to the top. Sometimes it likes to act a little crazy, so um, you might have to wiggle it around. I might have to get another sheet. I think I just messed it up by slanting it. We'll see. So there's the first one. Let's see about this one. Oh, we're okay. That's why I cut it to measure five and three quarters because I wanted it to give me some wiggle room. Yeah. Okay, there's our box piece. Now let's go ahead and cut the designer series paper. And it almost goes to the edge, but not quite. And I'm gonna angle this so that it doesn't move around. Well, it moved anyway, didn't it? Okay, there's the top of the box. And then the last item is the little banner. Now we're going to take the banner triple punch and just flag the ends. Okay, there's that piece. Perfect. Now, let's get the Simply Scored scoring tool and we're going to score the first one at one inch. Okay, so let me make sure this is on here. So one inch on all four sides. So that's the first one. The next one we're gonna take our Stampin' Trimmer, and this is a little tricky. I'm actually gonna score it <laughs> in between the one inch and the 15 sixteenths. That really doesn't have a name for it. So in between 15 sixteenths, which is that teeny tiny mark right there, that's 15 sixteenths, and then you've got your one inch. So in between that, and I'm gonna score on all four sides.
these are going to nestle inside of each other and um, by using this measurement uh, the box closes very nicely okay I'm going to take my bone folder you do want to use your bone folder when you're making boxes it gives you really nice crisp edges there's that one and I always get confused about which one of these measurements is the top and which one's the bottom but if you assemble them both you'll figure it out because one will fit over top of the other one <laughs> so I'm going to trim on each side just up to that one inch mark and then I want to give these tabs just a slight angle trim okay same thing on this one cut up to the score line and since we're over here let's just go ahead and trim those and then same thing now we're ready for adhesive okay so we're going to put adhesive on all four tabs on both pieces and to save myself some time today I'm just going to use my snail but I do normally use my tear and tape when I'm making boxes because it's a super strong adhesive And this time of year, I struggle with all adhesives except for the tear and tape in my office since it's in the basement. Okay. There we go. That should be good. So you're going to bring up the sides. See, isn't that stitch line so cute? When I saw how big these framelits were, I knew I was going to make a box. I couldn't wait to play with it. Okay, same thing on this one. Now let's see which one fits inside of the other. Yeah, it's this one. It's a nice snug fit, see? Now let me open it up and I'll show you what will fit in there. So you've got a little, little pack of sweet tarts. Fits in there perfectly, see? I'm going to take them back out, though, because I'm going to be using these for another video. <laughs> I'm kind of limited on my Valentine candy right now. So now we're going to take this piece and add it to the top. And it pretty much covers the whole top of the box. And then this piece right here is going to get attached right about there. So I'm just going to turn that over and attach that. Okay, now we're ready to stamp. Here's my image here. Just gonna ink it up with the Memento ink and stamp it on Whisper White. And now we're ready to color with our Stampin' Blends. I've got the light and the dark crumb cake, dark petal pink, and light flirty flamingo. I'm gonna start with the dark and I'm just gonna add just a little dark up here at the top down here in the feathers birds are all different colors so whatever color you want to color your bird feel free to do so we've we've had lots of birds we love birds um, I was even looking at a white cockatiel uh, this past week I'm like Brooke moving out and taking Elvis with her makes me want to get my own bird okay so we're done with that. We're going to color its beak with this petal pink color. And then the heart with the flirty flamingo. And you could actually use the lovely lipstick and tie it in more with the paper. I probably should have done that, but I'm just kind of stuck on this lighter color. Now here's this awesome punch. Don't ignore this in the occasions catalog. It is a keeper. I really like it. I like all the punches though. One eighth circle punch. So we're going to make a hole up here at the top for the ribbon. And I'm going to take the flirty flamingo and just thread it through there. 
The hardest part of this box will be tying the linen thread around that. Uh -oh. There went Bella. Okay, so we're almost done. We're just going to take the linen thread. And sorry for the noise up there. David just got home and I tell him he sounds like the Jolly Green Giant when he walks in. <laughs> the uh, kitchen is right above the basement, so that's why. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna tie a bow. And then shorten it. And then we'll trim the ends. I'm going to trim my ribbon a little bit, make it a little shorter, and then we're going to attach it to the top of the box just with a Stampin' Dimensional. And I might need to trim the ribbon a little bit more. We'll see. I do need to tighten this, though. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm just going to place it right here on the box. Pretty cute, right? <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.